Okay, so uh, welcome back to my reaction to episode, I think, five of season two of Sex Education. Um, okay, so my, now for my recap where I try to remember everything that happened in the last episode, even though I watched it only two days ago. This is what happens when your life is really, really busy and you get old, I guess. Um, so I think last episode was the episode where Ola wanted to have sex with Otis, and so they planned everything out, and then, I, yeah, yeah, and then Maeve, uh, right before he was about to go off to her, confessed her feelings to him, which messed everything up. So now Otis is stuck in this, uh, in between. Um, Jean, ah, Remy showed up, and now Jean kissed Remy, which, ugh, and, but also Jakob, I'm not a fan. Uh, so, hmm, Jean just needs to be single, maybe. <laughs> um, and, uh, who else had a choice? Ah, uh, Eric. Eric has uh, Rahim asking him out, my sweet, sweet Rahim, and Adam. And I, okay, mm, I'm not a fan of the Adam storyline. It's not that I, okay, Adam can grow and change, but I don't like the idea of Adam and Eric together because of the reasons that I've talked about so many times. Just the bully becoming the boyfriend. It just, uh, uh, it's it's a bad storyline. It's a bad precedent that we've taught people that, you know, no, men are really abusive when they like you. That's how you know. Like, no, no. Adam can grow and change and then move on to somebody else who doesn't have that history of abuse with him because it just, uh, I don't like it. Um, And what else happened? Oh, possibly Jean is going to find out about Otis's sex clinic. I think that has to happen because... I don't know if it's, when it's going to happen. It has to happen, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, there's some of the conflict that I know is going to come that I don't look forward to. And that's one that I'm looking forward to because I think it's going to be really uh, fun and interesting to see what happens there. So I guess let's go. Let's see what happens this episode. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy. So this must be before the fallout that happened last episode. Oh no, this is a fantasy, I think. What's that noise? Now, whose fantasy would this be? Ola's or his? Is this Ola or Otis? So this would be Ola's fantasy, I think? What's wrong? Ola is possibly... Hmm into Lily. I mean, I've assumed, I've assumed Ola was some sort of, like, some variation of queer this entire time. I just sort of assumed that. Uh, that would be, hmm, that would be interesting. Do they live near each other? Like, do they live close by to each other? I guess they did it again. <laughs> they went out and smashed some stuff again. Get out of here, kid, huh? Yeah. I really do not trust his dad. I feel like there's got to be some sort of ulterior motive. Hey, where are they? Like, this is... This part of England, it's... Where in England are they? Why are they both in the back seat? Both, uh, both these boys have, uh, two people on, on tap, or I don't know what to call it, on the hook, <laughs> right now. Oh yeah, you're being a good big sister, I like it. I love a makeover. <laughs> Who's that for? Do they... To say thank you for all the babysitting Cynthia's yet to agree to. She's gonna love them. Oh, for the cat. Custard creams. That's reminding me of the doctor, quite frankly. <laughs> For English. Ah, his so, parents do yeah. not know that cool. he's in what a play. Yeah, literally just said you met right. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he's got like some oh, swagger friend. to him the way he just walked over there. Like, <laughs> well, that was. I'm more social once I get into university. <laughs> Fastest Rubik's cube in the world. She likes barbecue flavored Doritos. Rubik's cube is not. I mean, that's just a pattern. About something really difficult. And he's spoken to me exactly 26 times using a total of 556 words. That's really weird, right, but... Okay. 
That's a weird thing to know. Like to do in his spare time. Oh, uh, he works at Pegasus Hobbies and Games on the weekend. She's still walking, isn't she? She's not taking the bus. Ugh. Poor Amy. Amy. Pumping in America, Randy. Oh, yeah. All the time. My wife, Delilah, and I, we... I take a He's married? The city as much to... as he can. And he was... <laughs> oh, he is a slimy, slimy son of a bitch. The Nightingale. Where? Oh, yeah. Like, I, I was bad enough when I thought that he was just... I... But wow. married. <laughs> it's like so pretty. That's a crow. I think. Or a crow. raven. You know, wild man. Are you with me, Eric? Yeah. 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 Good luck. Why is Eric so into this? Is Jacob here? He said there was something about a shelf he didn't like, so he's just come over and is doing it? I'm doing a vagina... I'm doing a vagina workshop in a bit, and I'm... Do you think you could keep it down? Yeah, sure. <laughs> doing a vagina. Won't be long. You don't just come over to somebody's house and start doing construction without talking to them. I... Sorry, the issues, the issues. See, I'm still thinking... I know, like, she, but I'm thinking Jackson and Bev could be an interesting couple. Oh. Or knock over an entire Honestly, pile of games. It, it's fine. It happens all the time. I keep calling her Bev. Her name's actually Viv. That's right. I keep, I'm calling her Bev because of that. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that. I'm just terrible with names. The man who was supposed to be their father. Shitting into a plastic bag in the middle of Hamlet. Yeah. That's my biggest regret. Very touching. It's very gross. <clears throat> What's wrong? It's all about you, isn't it, Erin? That wasn't an apology. That was just another excuse. Yeah. It's exactly what it was. Situations. You make bad choices. Were they there for the A the NA meeting, or...? Some other you reason. Much, do you? Oh, wait, no, no, ah, ballroom dancing. Oh, it's a community center. I was assuming it was a church. Right, hands above the hits now, Jerry. It's not the 1960s anymore. The labia majora. Behold, <laughs> she just pulled the clitoris <laughs> out. Come yeah. Out, but, um, yeah. Oh yes, uh, I was oh, wondering. She's come to the if your vagina workshop. Bike has been sitting in the garden for six years. In fact, there are many ways that we. He oh gosh, Jacob. Consideration of other people is important. <laughs> you return the clitoris to its location. <laughs> Standing there all cool, and I have a feeling we're supposed to think he's the reasonable one here, but I'm pissed off at him too. She said no. Like, she didn't want that thing. You just came over to her house without asking, and you did it. Like, no, Jacob. I don't care about any. Like, sorry. I. This is about boundaries. Again, though, she told you, like, okay, she shouldn't have kissed Remy, that's a, but he's coming across, like, the way this is all framed is to make him look reasonable, and he was written the wrong. He just came over to her house and started doing construction with that, you don't, you don't fucking do that. That's nonsense. She also told him she had a workshop, and he just kept doing it anyway. Your hand mirrors, please. Oh, is this about the mysterious Maeve, huh? Eric is always oh, no, spilling no, 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 his no, 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 like. No, 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 Eric will no, yell no, Otis's secrets. Mm -hmm. I used to like her more than that. But the heart wants what it wants. Uh, Remy, 
See, he's just a slimy guy. He's just like, yeah, if you like it, you just gotta do it. We thought the wrong person, Otis. A bad idea. Oh, we've got a storm incoming. That's why they're called dreams. Do you Actually, think it means pretty smart, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well, we've all heard that one before. You don't know me. Oh, he's cynical oh, like her. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to bond. I'm a pansexual, apparently. What, like... Fucking pots and pans? <laughs> oh, Adam. I knew a guy who... used to like to stick his dick in the suction pipe of a vacuum cleaner. It's normal. I'm pretty sure that's you, you Adam. You're attracted to the person, not the sex or gender. Maybe. Oh, Adam, you are so in the closet. Really enjoying walking at the moment. It's so evaporating. Invigorating? Yes, thank you. <laughs> evaporating? <laughs> Is she gonna fall asleep because she's tired because she walked for three hours? Ooh. Oh, sorry. That was an accident. Oh no, she's still traumatized, my baby Amy. Poor Amy. Are you sure everything's okay? Good, locking all the doors. Do we have a vibrator? We do have a vibrator. It's already sure hand is shaking. <laughs> Well, sorry, did you just give me a compliment just then? Yeah, you stop being so lazy and learn your lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, he's memorized name. other plays, so he's good at that. We are not lost. What does a flipping map say? The flipping map is ripped. It says it's a cheap piece of shit. <laughs> it just, just pops up. Nope. Need to take the strap. No, no, we're not getting a fucking hotel. Hey, uh, two rooms, please. Oh, it's a hotel and spa. Oh, bloody hell, Remy. I want a divorce. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny, but it's totally funny. Oh, it was just such a blasé conversation. Since he's been back, we've been going on all these late night walks where we go in and smash stuff and then we kiss. Because he, he bullied you. Yeah. For years, Eric, he's For a horrible years. person. Yeah, but people can change. If he's changed, then why is he making you sneak around at night? Oh, it's romantic. <laughs> Do what you want. Okay, but... Ask yourself, why have you really been hiding it? I gotta go check. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll talk later. <laughs> All right. Has left me for someone else. Okay. Well, it sounds like it was a <laughs> equal partnership where they both were, <sighs> but she was more honest about it. If you want to cry, Otis. I mean, <laughs> probably I'm not. Rented. Yeah, it's you know, it's. Sorry, uh... another dream. What's wrong? I'm gonna kiss you. Yeah. Very dreamy. For your second. Dream involving Lily. Hmm. You were right after all, Jim. I couldn't change him either. Yes. I'll give him the message. <laughs> That's a <so> weird. <laughs> Sorry, just trying to remember, <laughs> trying to imagine getting a call from your ex husband's current wife to tell him about the divorce. <laughs> like, divorce. It's weird. Still has not answered Maeve. No, did you send it? Did you send it? And yeah. Remy is who Remy is. Oh. You cheated again. 
Okay, so yeah, no, that was not Can any cool partnership. It was here. just. It's just the same thing. Good thing oh. Sure is, eh? <laughs> Going to guess sure uh, Remy did not get insurance. <laughs> Sorry, look at that face. <laughs> Sorry, this face there. You don't have to choose, Adam. No. I'm sorry about what I said last night. I just wish you told me. I thought you'd be judgmental. I mean, he was, but I think he's yeah, accurately yeah. judgmental. Oh, I love their friendship. Gene is here to save you. Please never leave us again, Jean. Oh, saw a nightingale. That was oh. actually a crow. And it rained. And we got lost. And the nightingale was a crow. Hmm. Yes. Your mom has issues, but she's somewhat more stable than your father. Also, your mom is Gillian Anderson, and I'm quite pleased about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so watching his dad has helped him make this decision. Oh, that's gonna be gut wrenching for her. Ugh. I need to tell you something. Does he have other children? I'll take your hand, actually. I love you. Ooh. Uh, that, ooh, he said the. Uh, oh. He said, I love you. Why are you laughing? It shouldn't be difficult, Otis. We're 16. Are you breaking up with me? Yeah. I am. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So if she does the breaking up, it's gonna be much less awkward. I'm really sorry. But now he's broken Maeve's heart, so this is uh, brutal. Yeah. Raheem, would you like to be my boyfriend? Okay, okay. So this. I would like to be your boyfriend. Okay, I like this. I like this. <laughs> And nobody else cares either, because they're just two kids kissing in front of a store. They yay. Oh, are you about to go? Okay. <laughs> Don't know if Lily is going to be into this. Okay, so Lily's into it. All right. Did not, I was not sure about that at all. Lily is tall. Okay, Lily might not be into it, but she has feelings for Lily. Okay, that's why she said that's what it's supposed to feel like. She has feelings for Lily, but not for Otis. Is he going to go off and try and smash stuff with Eric again? But Eric has a boyfriend. Okay, Eric's making a choice. Okay, sorry, so many uh, interesting thoughts in my head at the moment. Uh, completely random, like not at all <laughs> important thought. But I totally thought that that uh, where the NA meeting was and the uh, ballroom dancing or the swing dancing, I guess, I thought it was a church. And it, the reason was because I used to teach at a preschool that was located in a church. It was not associated with the church, but it was located in a church where there were also NA meetings and ballroom dancing. So it just, everything about that environment just looked like a place that I used to work. I worked there for a while. The ballroom dancing was so fun because the kids at the preschool loved to watch it. And so we asked permission and they, they would go and they would just, we would sit down with like this group of three or four year old kids just watching a bunch of senior citizens dance. <laughs> it was, oh, 
it was like the senior citizens loved it the ballroom dancers they loved it and the kids loved it and it was just a really fun thing but anyway that's a random aside remy is a mess <laughs> remy is a mess uh he lied to his son about why delilah left him and then uh just proceeded to sleep with the what concierge or check-in person there uh hey yeah just everything that came out of his mouth felt slimy and and weird all right so it was i mean affirming to me but to hear uh adam or otis say the things about adam that i've been saying you bullied him for years for years you don't just turn around and be like but no it's because i liked you and now you're supposed to get over it and be okay with it because at any point he could turn on you again also he's keeping him secret it's because Adam has to figure his own his own stuff out. That scene with the poster was was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and Jakob, Jakob and Jean. I'm hoping that's over because I really don't like he's he oh boundaries. Listening to people. Like she she didn't want the pan. You don't just get to come into her house and be like, I'm going to affix something to your wall with screws. Like you don't just do that. Why would you, why would you, in what universe would that be okay? Like, even if, I don't know, I'm just trying to imagine somebody coming over to my house and doing, I, I would be so angry. <laughs> like, we talk about it, we set up a time, and then maybe if we have agreed to the fact that I want this thing permanently affixed to the wall of my house, then you can do it. You don't just decide that it should be done and then do it. No. Oh, and of course, I guess the big thing, well, no, there's a couple of things. Oh, gosh, a couple. Uh, is with Ola. Okay, so Ola is Pan. I don't know about Lily. I would, like, I, that was my concern. I don't know if Lily is, is queer at all. Um, you know, she's a high school student, so she's got hormones that probably go every which way, but I don't know if she would identify herself as queer, so I don't know how that's gonna work for her. That's gonna be gut wrenching for, uh, for Ola, speaking of gut wrenching, oh gosh, I mean it's drama. It has to happen, I guess. Uh, it's a television show, but like Otis finally sent a message to Maeve, and then Ola breaks up with him. Which Ola being oh fuck, what the hell? Okay, so I mean it's a drama, right? Like it's a television show, so there's going to be the drama that that has to be there. But it's just, it's frustrating because like Ola breaks up with Otis right after he finally sent a message to Maeve. Uh, I don't think it was a good, like, I can't see you anymore. They probably should have talked, but, um, he finally said something. So he's cut that line off and he's going to want to repair it. But the fact is he's going to want to repair it after having made a choice that he was going to give up Maeve to be with Ola. It's everything, like, it's just, it's a mess. But Ola having broken up with Otis, it makes it feel better for me if he ends up with Maeve, because then it won't be that he just stepped over Ola to get to Maeve. Like, that's, it's gonna feel different. But it's just the, you know, it's the way things work in, in television shows. It's just everything, the it's happening in the worst possible way where everybody is hurt. Like, it, it hurt, it's hurting everybody and it's very uncomfortable to watch. And Maeve's situation with her mom. Uh, I like the neighbor boy. Uh, I forget his name. But neighbor boy, he's really cynical, just like her. So they are an interesting match. I don't know how long how they how well they would do as a long term match. They might just like constantly be digging each other into further and further holes of darkness and depression. But maybe not. Maybe they would work well together. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm like a neighbor boy. And uh, Viv and Jackson. I still think that there could be a connection there, but. He's setting her up with weird, um, weird hobby store quiz boy. So, you know, Jackson needs to tell his parents that he's in the play. But, I, yeah, they're not going to be. But, I mean, like, the play isn't replacing swimming because swimming isn't happening. So they probably would be okay with it. Like, if it was instead of swimming, that would be one thing. But he he can't be swimming right now. So, and, oh, Amy. God, my heart's breaking for Amy. <sighs> I, uh, was there anyone, like, I don't know, she needs to talk to someone about this. Her boyfriend's really sweet, but she needs to talk to somebody about that, because, oh, uh, oh, my poor Amy. Oh, these poor kids, these poor kids, they're all in a mess right now. <laughs> they're all in a mess. 
Uh, okay, so I guess I will end this here. What are your thoughts on this episode? Let me know. Comments below. And uh, if you like my content and you want to support me, I do have a Patreon, which will be linked in the description below. Uh, as always, thank you so, so much to my patrons. Your support really, really does mean a lot to me. So thank you. And uh, with that, I am going to end this here. So please like, subscribe, and I will see you for the next one. Bye. <laughs>